Anna, with less than three weeks to go until the first weekend of the fly, how are you preparing? Um, I think it's super exciting and everyone's getting really pumped. We've got our WhatsApp chat going and um, our captains are Laura Warren and Tours, which is super exciting. So I think they're, as you can imagine, keeping the morale very high, positive vibes. And we've got a Spotify playlist going on. But I think it's just motivating each other because three weeks is still a bit of time. But this is where we get going. You mentioned you've got a WhatsApp group going. Um, I assume that the coaches are in that WhatsApp group as well. As uh, uh, Have you been talking tactics on there as well? Um, we've got a few things going on. We've got our first team meeting on Thursday, which is very exciting. I think obviously we all know each other from playing with or against each other, but just having a chit chat, getting to know, going through tactics, um, that's, I won't reveal any more. And are there any sort of sixes specific skills that you've been practicing in particular over the past few weeks just to get your your, your eye in again? I think after at home ints, it's very important to take a few days off and reset and like find your next aim. And for me, I think my training definitely does change a little from tens to sixes. Um, I'm I've been focusing a lot on speed and agility recently, um, as well as strength. I think everything still incorporates into one. But um, yeah, especially recently, I've gone for speed and quick reactions because the game is constantly changing and you have to be quick on your feet. You mentioned you you played at home internationals a couple of weekends ago. You've been pretty non-stop, really, with the university season only finishing a few weeks back as well. Um, they're not obviously the sixes format, but how does that level of competition with the home internationals and the books big Wednesday, how does that level of competition help towards the fly? I think I'm very grateful to have had two incredibly big opportunities recently. And I think it, it even if it's little things like settling with nerves and these things like the fly coming up is such a big opportunity for Great Britain to show off the talent of international players playing together and especially if the Sixers can make the Olympics it's a great way for us to start right off the cusp. Um, I think just having lots of people watching the game, I think playing um, my own game and not letting others rattle me is definitely something that I've learned through, throughout the last month. Uh, and just thinking about the fly coming up, you've you've had a bit of a mixed career. You you won in 2021 um, at the fly 2021. You finished fourth last year. Um, how important do you think that it is to start with a win on the opening day like you did back in 2021? I mean, I think obviously it'd be great. But I again, we're it's going to be the first time we all play together. And I think never let one thing drag you down. I think if you do lose, it's only up from there and you learn a lot from your mistakes but I don't think that will be the case for Team Swift I definitely think we're going to go in all guns blazing our team our roster this year is incredibly positive energies going out tough and hungry for the win so I back us this year and um, you touched on it a little bit there, but um, what's it like actually heading into a first game at the fly having kind of not had a formal swift training session so to speak I think you've just got to trust your teammates. Um, the most exciting thing is, I think everyone I'm playing with, we want to make each other look good. We're playing for each other. And I think in sixes, you give it your all. It's going to be quick on and off the pitch. But yeah, I think we want to make each other look good and really play, play for the team, but play for our coaches and play for everyone else who's watching. And does it give you that little edge because you've actually played with and against quite a few of your Swift teammates? Um, I think it's definitely, uh, I can use it as leverage and like it's a great opportunity to um, help the team like ca like become cohesive and I, I kind of know the format of the fly but I think most people have got experience of sixes and we go out there and we play our game and I think I will be learning so much from even even people who haven't played the fly before. I'll learn huge amounts from them. So I don't think it gives me a lot, um, the fact that I've done it twice before, but I'll know little tricks that maybe some of the team, play, uh, other team players do and maybe other coaches. But I think the main thing is to play our game and adapt to their tactics, but never lose our form and our, our shape of 
Team Swift. Now you play just the one game, I think, on opening day and against Hustle. Um, what are your thoughts on that one? They've got quite a strong team. They've got a great coach in Evie Stevens. What are your just initial thoughts? Um, I think, I mean, Evie coached me. She was one of my first coaches age 11. So <laughs> it's exciting. And I spoke to her the other day and we're excited to go head to head. But their, their team is great. Um, Dylan is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Um, she in the last year fly dominated the tournament I, I believed and I think they've got very very strong two-way middies I think that's where they're gonna their fitness and athleticism is definitely gonna hold them high I I think every team this year is phenomenal but yeah hustle hustle will be a great game to start with and I'm super excited to see how it goes and just finally, 2023 is the first time that we're going to be welcoming spectators and fans to the fly. Um, why do you think that people should come down and watch you and your teammates this year? I think, why not? I mean, this is exciting upcoming game. I know that everyone who's watched it in the past has said it's it's riveting. There's something always changing. You never know what the outcome is going to be like. And lacrosse wise, if you're wanting to become an international athlete, stick skills footwork is so crucial in a game like sixes and I think you learn a lot from watching and hopefully it becomes a name for you guys.